What's up guys, Raymond here, also known as Rayvision, and check it out, today well, we are going to be playing some Forza Horizon 2. Now this is just some background footage because what we're really doing is a Q&A. Now this is the uh, Porsche expansion pack, I'm doing some of the bucket list, trying and failing. Uh, the last one I never actually got because screw that one, it's a pain in the ass and you're going to see I spent a lot of retries. At this is actually a 30 minute clip. And then I gave up because I rage quit because, you know, life. So before we get started, just want to remind you guys, please leave your questions in the comments below because without your questions, there is no Q&A and I do love the Q&A. So first question for today comes from a guy called Ray Bautista. He asked me, uh, hashtag grid life uh, is a racing slash music festival. It's a racing uh, festival, I, I assume because it's grid life or it could be both. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> now for the questions. Automatic or manual of clutch? Manual of clutch. F-Type V8 or F-Type V6? V8 until the 2016 model. Because the 2016 model, they're making the V8 four-wheel drive, which is stupid in my head. I want the real wheel drive 2015 V8. Uh, be a dolphin or be sniped after you were born? I, I would much rather be a dolphin. Um, Xbox 360 or one? One. <clears throat> All right. Next question comes from Rahul C. If I could add any car to Forza Horizon 2, which would it be? Any car. Okay, so there's a lot to choose from. They just added the 918. Um, they have the Koenigsegg Aguera R. They have the Hennessy. What do I really think they could add to Forza Horizon 2 that I do... Here's the thing. Most of the cars I know fairly well, I know because I use them a lot in Forza and stuff. So it has to be a car that's not in Forza. Um, oh man, this is so challenging. Uh, um, they have the Tesla i8. i8 would be a cool car for them to add. I'm just saying. All right, my lone wolf. What happened on stream? All I heard was something about a uh, sister. Um, someone replied. Nick kept asking to date his sister. Someone said, uh, and then he asked why. The reason why is because Nick is uh, well, well, doesn't really apply anymore. But at the time, Nick uh, did not have any other girls, had not met any other girls, and uh, I guess has a crush on my sister. Well, it's never going to happen anyway, so it's all good. Max Petty asked me, where do you see this channel in two months? Uh, sorry, not two months, six months. All right, for thinking extremely optimistically, like extremely optimistically, 16,000 subscribers. Um, ideally, 12,000, most likely 10,000, okay? Uh, maybe less. We'll see. It depends how things go. That's just that's just what I see actually happening. Um, this is all subscriber count. I don't know what else I could be doing. Uh, this is Kreeze. Ask me. If you choose between Bill Gates, money, or world, ple uh, world peace, what color Lamborghini would it be? Um, would be green. I mean, like, if I had to choose between Bill Gates or world peace, what color would the Lamborghini be? Would be green. I'm pretty sure that's not your uh, question, but that is what I answer. Austin Sturgeon asked me, is my sister hot? I'm not answering that. Ew, that's my sister. Uh, Stealthy Mamba asked me, opinion on the Tesla P85D. Here's the thing. I respect the fact that the Tesla is a nice car. And, and it sort of is, yes, as everyone said, it's looking into the future and all that. But I don't really like it. Personally, like, no, no it's not that I don't like it. I don't mind it at all. You know, if someone gave me a Tesla, I'd be freaking happy. But there are a lot of... Uh, uh, for the same amount of money, I could get a lot of other cars that rank way higher on my list than Tesla. We'll put it at that. Random Brick Films asks me, um, did you know the BMW i8 has 420 pounds LB feet of torque? If not, uh, if not, then knowing this, do you like it more than you used to? No. Why would I like it more? Because it has more to, I don't, I honestly don't care. <laughs> Sorry. Um, driving Platypus. Uh, would you rather let Nick do your sister or delete your YouTube channel and never make a new one? Delete my YouTube channel and never make a new one. Although, that's never going to happen because let's face it, Nick won't make it even past one base. So he'll probably stay at home plate because he'll strike out. What? Oh, um, random brick films asked me another question. What do you think of the Civic Type R coming to North America in 2016? I have not seen it yet. I'm going to go and check it out right after I finish recording this. And I'll get back to you next week if you ask me the same question. Do I like the V8, E90, 92, 93? Uh, he's talking about the M3s. The 90 is my favorite, personally. But, you know, they're, if someone gave me any of those, I'd be very happy. I'd be very, very happy. 
Uh, what, um, yeah, basically. Uh, Patrick Keaton asked me, would you let Nick date your sister for $10 million? No, that's disgusting. Uh, Will Ashley asked me, if there is Forza Horizon 3, do you think it will be in America? I'd like to think, you know what, I don't want it to be in the U.S. No offense to all Americans there uh, that live there, because the U.S. has been done in a lot of games. Uh, Need for Speed, um, The Crew. Um, Europe is a lot less common for racing games. And so it's nice that they've done the past two Forza Horizons in there. But I feel like they can access something, uh, some remote uh, land that they haven't done yet. This is this place called Canada. Not sure you guys ever heard of it. It'd be pretty cool if there were, you know, Forza Horizon and 3 in Canada. Not going to happen, though, because there's no consumer interest in Canada. So, next question comes from TS23Gaming. Ask me, will I buy the Porsche expansion pack for Forza Horizon 2? Well, the answer is sitting in front of you. Uh, how much do I think it will be? Well, it's ten dollars. I don't know how many it is in euros, but that is the fact. Slop train and make Ray make a RUF wheelie car on Forza Horizon 2. Um, no, uh, because I don't know how to make a wheelie car. I'd have to figure it out. Patrick Keaton asked me once again, "Am I gay?" Um, since last week, I have not had any new developments. So no. Uh, last time I checked, still straight. Sorry, buddy. Uh, John D asked me, since the Porsche pack was leaked, what is my favorite Porsche bar the 918 Turbo S? I love the sound. It has a little bit of a backflow a valve sound on the turbo. And, uh, it, it, uh, sorry, blow off valve sound a bit. It goes, it has, you have to listen to it in third gear. It, it's tough to hear, but when you hear it, it's very satisfying. I love that sound. Jamie Carr asked me, if I could make any video game, what would it be? So, here's the thing. I really like EVE Online, uh, but I never understood it. But what I like even more than EVE Online is Star Citizen, because it's way more interactive. But here's the thing. Because Star Citizen has such more, uh, it's such more detailed than EVE Online, the size of the universe and the amount of things you can do is a lot more limited. And so what I would, my, if I were to make a game, it would be Star Citizen uh, gameplay mechanics in the expansive universe that is EVE Online. Star Citizen is going to be a massive expansive universe eventually. But because it's still a fairly new game and it hasn't gone there versus EVE Online which has had like 12 years to make it a universe like ginormous. So yeah, that is the game I would make. And last question comes from TJ Kirby asked me, do, do I prefer the R8 V10 or the Nissan GTR Nismo? Nissan GTR Nismo. So with that, guys, I want to remind you all to leave your questions in the comments below. Leave your comments in the comments below. Hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you all next time.